Okay class, it's time for our first production. And uh, we're gonna be working on French bread. So I have all of my ingredients already mise en place. I have it so this close because I wanted you to take a look at the board. Before we can begin our uh, bread, we need to use now what we've already calculated as far as our machine friction and use it to determine our uh, desired water temperature. Okay, so you, you have a worksheet, so pull your worksheet out so you can follow along, but I have everything here on the board for you to follow along as well. Our desired dough temperature is 76. That's always gonna be a given to you from me. Now we need to determine our flour temperature. So we've done that before, just take your thermometer. Now I am in a different lab today and this lab tends to be a little colder than the other lab. We're going to take our room temperature, which is at 60 degrees as well. Our machine friction, I've already put in there. Okay, and so those are the factors that we need to know in order to determine our desired water temperature. So now let's work the numbers, how we need to do this. We're going to take Okay, so the way our equation is going to be is we're going to take our desired dough temperature and we're going to multiply it times the factor, which is 3. That's going to give us a number. And then we're going to subtract each one of these temperatures. Subtract flower temperature, subtract room temperature, subtract machine friction, and that tells us what our desired water temperature needs to be in order to maintain at the end of our mix the 76 degrees. So I have water temperature, and I'm just gonna recalculate this just to be sure that I got it right. my water to 103.5 degrees in before I begin my mixing process okay now sometimes <clears throat> if your environment is really hot the temperature of your flour is hotter the <clears throat> the room everything is hotter if you have a machine that kicks out a lot of heat you might have a very low temperature for your desired water temp and if it's very below your tap water temp, then we have to now determine ice weight and be able to see how much ice would I need in order to bring down that water to a certain number of, of degrees to where I need it. And I'll show you that next um, equation next time. So right now, this is how you figure your desired water temperature. Heating it up is not so bad. When it's too cold and we need a really cold temperature, we need to determine ice weight so that we can drop the temperature of the water. And I'll show you that in another, in another episode. 